Deep in the Siberian forest is the record of an explosion that is a thousand times larger than Hiroshima. On June 30th, 1908, one of the most mysterious and catastrophic events in modern history unfolded in the remote wilderness of Siberia, Russia. The Tunguska event, as it would later be known, remains one of the largest explosions ever recorded on Earth. The incident flattened over 800 square miles of forest, knocked down 80 million trees, and sent shockwaves that could be felt hundreds of miles away. However, despite its sheer magnitude, no impact crater was ever found, and the exact cause of the explosion remains a mystery to this day. Eyewitness accounts from locals and Ryan too. The explosion sent shockwaves that rattled buildings and knocked people off their feet, causing widespread damage across the region. What was most puzzling, however, was the absence of an impact crater. Theories about the cause of the explosion began to emerge, with most scientists agreeing that a cosmic object, likely a meteorite or asteroid, exploded in midair over the Siberian taiga. In the years following the explosion, investigations were conducted, but the event remained shrouded shrouded in mystery. The first significant scientific expedition to the Tunguska site didn't occur until 1927 when the Soviet scientist Leonid Kulik ventured to the area. His team found a massive area of trees knocked down in a pattern resembling the wings of a butterfly, indicating the shockwave's path. However, despite searching the area thoroughly, no meteorite fragments were found, leading many to believe the object responsible for the explosion must have vaporized upon entering the Earth's atmosphere. Over the decades, many theories have been proposed about the Tunguska explosion. The most widely accepted theory is that the event was caused by the airburst of a stony asteroid or comet roughly 50 to 60 meters in diameter. This asteroid would have entered the Earth's atmosphere at an estimated speed of 27 kilometers per second, traveling at a velocity of 98,004 kilometers per hour, or about Mach 80. As the object exploded, the release of energy would have been roughly equivalent to 3 to 30 megatons of TNT, making it 1,000 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Interestingly, in the years since the Tunguska event, scientists have studied similar incidents that have occurred on Earth and in space. If there had been a meteorite impact, they would have been destroyed. So Kulik concluded that these couldn't be meteorite craters. He was disappointed. At the center of this, the trees stood straight up, burned to a crisp and stripped of their bark and their branches. Locals were at first really reluctant to talk to him. They thought that this explosion in 2013, the Chelyabinsk meteor explosion in Russia highlighted the threat of smaller objects colliding with Earth. That event, which was caused by a meteor about 20 meters in diameter, demonstrated the potential dangers of asteroid airbursts similar to Tunguska, though on a much smaller scale. With this in mind, modern-day scientists have taken steps to monitor the skies for potential threats, including the establishment of NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office (PDCO), which works to identify and track near-Earth objects any that could pose a threat to our planet. But what really happened at Tunguska? Could a cosmic object have caused this mysterious explosion? Or is there something else at play? Could there have been a series of unexpected environmental factors that contributed to the event, such as volcanic activity or the release of gases from the Earth's crust? While the asteroid impact theory seems to be the most plausible explanation, there are still questions that remain unanswered, and the search for answers continues. One of the most interesting aspects of the Tunguska event is the fact that despite the widespread damage and shockwave that reverberated around the world, only a handful of people were directly affected and only a few were reported to have been killed. The remote location of the explosion, along with the sparse population in the area at the time, meant that the loss of life was remarkably low compared to what it could have been. Had the explosion occurred over a populated city, the consequences would have been catastrophic. Five kilometers above the surface, something exploded in the sky with the force of 1,000 atomic bombs. The fire Fireball spread over a kilometer wide, reaching temperatures over 300,000 degrees Celsius. Without a warning, the blinding flash of light sent a shockwave so powerful that it circled the Earth twice, and in an instant, 2,000 square kilometers of forest were flattened, and 100 square kilometers of forest were burned to the ground. To this day, this is still one of the world's biggest mysteries, because we still don't know exactly what it was. The event took place on June 30th, 1908, and eyewitnesses say that the sky lit up, the ground shook, and a wave of heat knocked people off of their feet 
feet, even from 40 miles away. This was the largest recorded explosion in Earth's history, and strangely enough, it didn't leave an impact crater. It was 10 years before scientists ventured to the remote location of the impact zone in the Siberian forest. And even though we'll never know exactly what caused this massive explosion, most scientists agree that it was the mid-air explosion of a falling space rock. In the years since, the Tunguska event has sparked a variety of theories and speculations, ranging from extraterrestrial involvement to secret government experiments gone wrong. Some conspiracy theories suggest that the event was caused by a secret weapon, while others believe that the explosion was a warning from alien life forms. These theories, while unsubstantiated, continue to fuel public interest in the mystery, keeping the legend of Tunguska alive. The Tunguska event is a stark reminder of the dangers that exist just outside our atmosphere. As the Earth continues to orbit the Sun, it is constantly exposed to the threat of asteroid collisions. While the Tunguska explosion may have been an isolated event, it serves as a warning of what could happen if a similar sized asteroid were to collide with a more populated area. This event also raised significant awareness about the need for planetary defense. In the wake of Tunguska, the scientific community became more proactive in studying and monitoring the skies for potential threats. In fact, many believe that the DART double asteroid redirection test mission by NASA was directly inspired by the lessons learned from Tunguska and that humanity is now better prepared to prevent such an event from happening again. In conclusion, while the Tunguska event remains shrouded in mystery, it has undoubtedly had a profound impact on our understanding of asteroid threats and the potential consequences of such a disaster. The absence of clear answers only adds to the intrigue of this historical enigma. The event has left an indelible mark on scientific history, and with modern technologies in place to better track and assess near-Earth objects, the lessons learned from Tunguska have equipped us with the knowledge to face future challenges. I have breaking space news. NASA just crashed a spacecraft into an asteroid on purpose. NASA's 500 kilogram DART spacecraft just slammed into this asteroid at 6.6 .6 kilometers per second to practice deflecting an asteroid to protect the Earth. If you Google NASA DART, you even get to see this cute little animation. I mean, this really is a groundbreaking day. For the first time in the 4.5 billion year history of Earth, there could be a way to defend it from incoming asteroids. This is potentially the biggest threat to life on Earth, and now we stand a chance. This is history. So what do you think happened on that fateful day in 1908? Do you believe it was a natural phenomenon, or do you have your own theory about what caused the Tunguska explosion? Let us know in the comments below. And if you found this story intriguing, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into history's most fascinating mysteries.